Okay, in this video, we're gonna to start to sort of build out the Django REST API stuff. So I'm just gonna open a new web browser. I'm gonna type in Django REST API or REST framework. And here it is, django-rest-framework.org. And this is the Django REST framework. And we installed this way back at the beginning of the course when we installed Django. We installed the Django REST framework. And you can kind of look through here if you want. And yeah, see, we pip installed it just like this. Uh, there's some optional packages we did not install because we don't really need. We added the installed uh, the REST framework to our installed apps and our settings.py file. And this is no longer correct. Looks like this is a little outdated. But you could check through here if you're interested, look at development. This is a very introductory course on Django REST APIs. If you wanna dive in in more detail after you finish this course, uh, this is a good place to go. Uh, there's some quick start guides and other guides that you can look at as some stuff, you know. But for now, we'll just leave that as that. So for us, the next thing we wanna do is create a serializer. And this sort of takes the, the data from our database and serializes it into, uh, in our case, JSON, which is what most APIs use to send data around the internet. So a serializer, it doesn't just, it creates, it translates our data to and from JSON. So it's just an important thing. So in our courses directory, we just wanna create a new file. And let's go file, save as, and let's save this as serializer s, serializers.py. And did I spell that correctly? Serializers, yes. And instead of here, we need to from rest underscore framework. We wanna import serializers, serial, Isers, okay. And then we need to also import our model. So from dot models, import course, which again is just our models. And then this course, right? Okay. Now inside of here, we need to create a class and let's go class. And this is gonna be course serializer, singular. And then that's gonna use serial dot model serializer. So did I spell all those correctly? Serializers dot model capital M serializers capital S serializer. And again, this kind of looks like a capital L right here, but it's not. It's just Sublime doing its weird thing. All right, so inside of here, we need to pass a class of meta. And inside of that, we need to tell tell it what model to use. So the model equals course, which is just this guy, course. <laughs> of course, course. And the fields we want in our API are fields and set that equal to, and this is just a tuple of all the fields that we want. So we want an ID and this is just a number. We didn't put this in our model, but it does it anyway. Cause when I put things in a database, it always gives it an ID number. So each item is an ID number has an ID number automatically given to it. So we wanna use that. We also wanna use the name and we wanna use the language and we want to use the price, right? And these things I'm taking straight out of our model, right? So that's name, language, and price. Here we're saying use the name, the language, and the price, right? So go ahead and save this and that's pretty much it. So our serializers are done. Our serializer, I should say, is done. And uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and start building out our views for the actual web pages that the API will create for us. And that'll be in the next video.